Hurricanes are the most powerful storms on Earth. Just one of them can release as much energy as 10,000 nuclear bombs. But how exactly do they form? A hurricane usually starts its life near the coast of Africa. First, winds blow clusters of thunderstorms off the coast and into the open ocean. Winds blowing across that warm ocean water evaporate some of it into the air. That moist air rises higher into the storm, condensing into clouds. When this happens, heat is released into the atmosphere. This is very important because as this process repeats itself, more and more warm air is created which then rises into the center of the storm. Now here's where things get intense. All of that warm rising air creates a void at the center of the storm. So wind rushes in to fill the void. And then all of that fast moving wind, it starts to spiral due to the rotation of the earth. Finally, the high wind and lower pressure, it pulls massive amounts of water toward the center of the storm. This is called storm surge. When the hurricane hits land, it brings that big bubble of water onto the shore, causing massive flooding. This is actually the most dangerous part of a hurricane, hurting far more people than the wind. If a hurricane approaches, it's important to seek sturdy shelter on higher ground. But if there's an evacuation notice, it's best to just leave.